join the Ricky Gorn brand. You know you want to. Because this is a channel that is bright. This is a channel taking over Twitch. This is a channel where it's all happening. And this is a channel more famous than the London Eye. This is and can only be the People's Wrestling Channel. And I am, of course, the number one heel. The man. The Hall of Famer, the UPR strike, general manager, Ricky Goldman, Ricky Goldman, Ricky Gold Man. And right now, you tell all your friends, you spread the word, get your voice heard, and tell everyone you know. Check out that description. Smash that bell right out in every single one of my notifications on. Check out all my other videos. Share, 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 and share again. Comment below. Comment, comment, comment below. Add me on Facebook, Ricky JP. Follow me on Twitter, Rick the Rock 30. Go on the view online, WWA World Wrestling Alliance on Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, my blog. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. UPR on popular review, UPR on popular review, UPR on popular review, that is UPR on popular review. Pro Wrestling Tees, Goldman's, go and search and buy all three designs of my t-shirts, you know you need one in your life. And of course, to get those two, 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 Two shout outs, doing exactly what to do. You like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe right this very second. I've got one shout out to do, and it, to, to do, and it is to Michael Damzak, spelt D Y M C Z A K. There is your second shout to uh, shout out to everybody else. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, hit like and do the subscribe right now. So, um, <clears throat> I'm kind of all out of ideas for the videos, trying to make as different and as unique as I can. Um, but kind of, this is for me kind of just a normal review for the most part. But it is the NXT. Takeover 31 review. Five matches, I thought, and I thought NXT Takeover 31 was really, really good. Uh, the Capital Wrestling Center, I love the look, the new set, the new look for the Performance Center. Looks cool. You've got fans back, you've got virtual fans, looks really good. So, the only match was for the North American Championship. It was Mr. Wrestling Johnny Gargano taking on the Archer Damian Priest. Uh, this match was really thrown together. Uh, Damian showing why he's, showing he's good here. Uh, Gargano really healing it up. He's not being a great heel. Getting better, but not being great. Um, this was back and forth action. A lot of near falls. I actually thought... At what couple of points Gargano was taking that title, but no, it didn't happen. Leaving this takeover, North American champion Damian Priest. Next up was another match thrown together, but it was the flamboyant one, the Velveteen Dream, taking on the one, the only, none other than Kushida. Kushida dressed as Martin McFly, Velveteen Dream dressed as. Um, Doc Brown from uh, um, Back to the Future, I thought this was a nice touch, this was good. Uh, yeah, this match, even though it's kind of thrown together at the last moment, enjoyed this one, this was good, nice back and forth action. Kushida on his first ever takeover, why not let the push continue? Let, um, Dream really healing it up and again, a good heal. Uh, not one but two Purple Raymakers, a kick out, a, a, a submission, a tap out by... Kershida picking up the W. Next up 
was for the Cruiserweight Championship. It was the one, the only, you know who he is, Isaiah Swerve Scott, taking on leader of Legado del Fantasma, San, Fantasma Santos Escobar. Um, what a match this was. Isaiah only getting a cruiserweight title shot. Isaiah on takeover. His first ever proper match. His first ever single match, I believe, on takeover. Um, plenty of back and forth action. Plenty of near falls. A match of the night candidate. Uh, you had Walking Wild and Roman Dozer getting involved. You had a guy on behalf of uh, Isaiah getting involved. Not sure who he was. <coughs> um... But, yeah, he got involved. Um, and, yeah, I really enjoyed this match. Zayo looking great here. You know, looked good in defeat. And I think keeping the title on Santos, Legado del Fantasma, can you continue that push? As so as you just heard, still the reigning defending Cruiserweight champion, Santos Escobar. Next up for the NXT Women's Championship was Mrs. Gargano, Candice LeRae taking on Genius of the Sky, Io Shirai. I enjoyed this one. This didn't last very long. I think it was roughly like 10, 15 minutes. Both women looking good. Candice LeRae looking good here. Uh, I thought she was going to take the title, but it just didn't happen. And still, the one and only NXT Women Champion, Io Shirai. But then we had two returns. On the throne, we had Tony Storm. And then we had Ember Moon return. That's right, the mystery person was Ember Moon, not Bo Dallas. Uh, okay, Ember Moon back in NXT. Hopefully she gets more of a push than she did on the main roster. A little bit of a letdown for me, though. Then you know, main event evening, what a match this was for the NXT Championship. It was the Prince Finn Balor taking on Undisputed Heroes on Kyle O'Reilly. A lot of submissions, a lot of combat moves, a lot of ground and pound, back and forth, hard-hitting action. Kyle O'Reilly in a main event, first of a single main event, being put up into that level. Um, and no point did I think he was going to take the title, and he didn't. This was really, really hard hitting. Uh, Balor coming out of this match with a broken jaw, whether they take the title off him, I don't know. Um, and yeah, still the NXT champion, Finn Balor. Uh, I, I expected a Undisputed Era kicking out Kyle O'Reilly because only been pushed so far. That didn't happen. But what you did have happen was Ridge Holland attacked Adam Cole. And I thought, great, Adam, Ridge Holland did get a push. But unfortunately, he got injured this week on NXT. I don't know how going to be out for. I think he got a broken leg or broken something. So two things. First of all, I'm going to give TakeOver a B plus And the champions... Damian Priest, I can't see him losing it for a, a good while. Uh, Santos Escobar, the same. Io Shirai, maybe to Tony Storm, I think, and Finn Balor. Unless they take the title off him, which I can't see they're doing. He's going to keep it for a while. So go ahead right now, like and sub. Scribe. Um, every Tuesday, check out UPR Strike, 12 a.m. UK time. 6 p.m. CST Central Time and Eastern Time EST. It's 7 p.m. Um, we have got the draft coming up, but I, I don't expect anything from it really. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe right now. Because I've been the one and only Ricky Goldman.